So that's it, huh? Now we have a problem with fusion. Now, now, now we have a problem with Qatar. We're gonna forget when a seven and an eight year old managed to beat the hell out of Super Boo. The thing that beat the hell out of Fat Boo. The thing that beat the hell out of a bunch of gods. <laughs> a seven and eight year old fused together with the fusion dance, weaker than a Qatar with the fusion dance and beat the hell out of Boo. We're gonna forget that happened. They go cool Vegeta who was getting destroyed by, by Buhan. Buhan, you know, Super Buu with the powers like Mystic Gohan. All it took was Goku and Vegeta and a Patara and Super Saiyan 1 and they were fucking destroying him. They were just, they were utterly annihilating him. Nobody said shit. Now we got two Saiyans, well a Saiyan capable of Super Saiyan 2 and I guess a legendary Super Saiyan, whatever the hell form she takes, they haven't really put a name to it yet. But we got two incredibly strong Saiyans. Fusing together as one being, then turning Super Saiyan? And we're surprised that she's strong? And when people was like, I, I just, how, how did she, how did she manage to kick Goku and knock him out? Well, <laughs> are you people forgetting that it has been less than like five minutes since Goku fought Jiren? Has it been that long? Has it been that long? I guarantee you if I just beat the shit out of you and you decide to go for a walk and two 10 year old girls ran up on you, they'll beat the shit out of you too. You know why? Because you just, you just had the shit beat out you. <laughs> it just. So now we're going to act like fusion is a problem. Now we're going to act like we don't like that shit no more. You know, Goku and Vegeta were getting utterly destroyed by Zamatsu. And Vegito came and started destroying him. Oh, but he was Vegito Blue. And then someone asks, is Kefla, she's stronger than Vegito? Kefla is barely keeping up with an incredibly damaged, half-destroyed, exhausted Goku. Even when he went Kaioken, she literally lost that advantage. She, like, he went Kaioken, she's like, oh, my arms, he hit me so fucking hard. <laughs> Goku utterly speed blessed her when he went Kaioken. Punched her in the stomach. Like, he, he, Goku, one hit, she's like, oh, my God, that, that really, really fucking hurt. Could you imagine when Goku was 100% when Super Saiyan blew Kaioken? You know how quick this fight would have been over? He would have just speed blessed her like he did the hit. You know, the guy that can jump through time. He would just speed blitz her and utterly can destroy her. But he can't do that right now. And people was like, I'm so confused. I thought he didn't have the stamina. How is he using Ultra Instinct? Someone literally said Ultra Instinct is what drained his stamina. So that uh, how is he able to use Ultra Instinct when he... Now, that's not what the fuck happened. His stamina and his key and his bodily harm are three different things. Your stamina... Everybody has stamina. I got stamina. Goku, even Goku has stamina. Yeah, his stamina is back. He caught a second win. He's not, like, exhausted anymore, but his body is still hurt. And he got his key back because Frieza gave him a little bit and he let it build up while he was fighting. That doesn't mean he's not hurt anymore. And Ultra Instinct didn't drain his stamina. His stamina got drained from that ass whooping he gave <laughs> and almost dying. And he was completely out of key, so the spirit bomb had to refill his key. But it was only temporary. It's like they literally tell you what's happening. And people are saying, oh, I, I just don't like this. Well, too bad. <laughs> you, you can't say that there's no story or there's bad, right? I mean, you can say you don't like it, but you can't say it doesn't exist. You can't pretend like Dragon Ball has always been this wellspring of literary masterpieces. Yeah, it really hasn't. It really hasn't. Even when you go back to Dragon Ball, a lot of Goku's fights ended comedically. Z was the super serious show with the oh, we gotta stop the Saiyans. Now we need to save the Namics. Now we gotta save the future and stop the Andrews. Oh, but now we gotta fight Cell. <gasps> but Majin Buu. No, that was Z getting all extra serious over and over and over again and never taking itself serious and taking, it, taking itself lightly. Always saving the planet and shit and always, you know, that was Z that did that. You know what this is? This is a tournament. 
Don't act like you watch Dragon Ball for anything else but glorious fight sequences. Don't don't pretend like you you guys always critically love Dragon Ball. If you go rewatch Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, you'll be like, bro, what the fuck is this? The story doesn't make any damn sense. Where the fuck is launch? Why the hell is Goten and Trunks not have tails? <laughs> There's so many things. Why the hell Frieza said they were fighting for five minutes? Nigga, it's been like three fucking episodes. Like, there's so many things in Dragon Ball you can just point out. Like, like Jiro. Just, oh, we we acquired your battle from the Saiyan Saga and built the androids. You built seventeen and eighteen to stop Saiyan Saga and Goku. That's a bit of overkill, considering seventeen and eighteen were able to beat the shit out of Frieza. Where's General Tao? <laughs> where, 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 where? Oh, God. But now we have a problem with Patara now. Now nobody likes... She's so strong! She used Patara. But she's, she's, she's so strong. Because she's she managed to, to knock out Goku even though he's like half dead already. And she hurt him. You can't hurt Goku, it's Goku. Like, this is what you people sound like. You really think Goku is Superman? <laughs> you really think he's indestructible? <laughs> he's not. He's really not. I don't see where your problem with fusion is coming from all of a sudden. Dragon Ball has literally always been here just to give you dope ass fight scenes. It's never been it's never been a, a well written masterpiece hell Toriyama made up half of it like half everything in Z Toriyama made up on the fly you can tell oh now Goku's an alien from outer space coming down to you know save the planet like oh really first off he just ripped off Superman's origin story but now that's happening now that's what's gonna happen <laughs> okay do y'all even know that Toriyama only created Super Saiyan as a transformation because he was so sick of writing Dragon Ball and so sick of creating the story, he didn't feel like coming up with a transformation that required him to do a lot of work. All he had to do was just draw Goku's hair standing up, and he wouldn't have to color it in in a manga page. That's why Super Saiyan exists, people. So he wouldn't have to color it in in a, in a fucking manga and do, have to do much work. All he had to do was draw Goku's hair standing up. And he wanted to end it after that. We, now we have our problem with Patara. This is funny. I don't know. It's your boy. So if it's Hell Hydra. <laughs>